Hey, good morning, Amigas. How are you doing? I hope you're all having a great Thursday. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be doing ourselves a delicious, healthy uh, sous vide uh, sea bass. We're also going to do a, a nice, delicious couscous to go with it. We're going to do some roasted butternut squash, uh, maybe some roasted butternut squash squash, squash, squash cubes, uh, and some feta. We've got some pomegranate going in there, some lovely herbs going through the couscous. So, uh, some very nice, delicious, healthy dish for you guys today. Um, this was actually super, super cheap. This was on special offer for the wild fish. Um, and it was about 10 bucks for the whole side, which is really, really good. So, uh, super, super cheap. So what we're going to do is unravel this. Gordon Bennett, did they give me enough paper here? So we've got some nice, beautiful sea bass here. Um, it's already been de-skinned. I'm just going to double check if there's any bones. I don't feel like there isn't any bones in there, but some really nice, fantastic. It just smells so fresh. You don't get that kind of fishy flavor with, with or the fishy smell, shall I say, when it comes to proper fresh uh, fish. Um, so this is usually shipped in on the morning, so um, yeah just smells like the sea, the ocean, which is fantastic. So if usually a sign of fishy smell, that's usually a sign of old fish. So this is super fresh, so uh, super tender. This is probably going to be one of my best kind of favorite fishes. Um, it's actually wild sea bass that we usually get. I know we get it in the UK. It can be super expensive. Um, but I would say wild sea bass is one of them. But I like all fish, to be honest with you. I don't think there's any like specifically favorite. Like I'll be like, oh, yeah, I always have this. This is my favorite. Um, I love all seafood, so absolutely fantastic. So, I'm just going to give this a nice little cut. Right, okay, so there's our beautiful fish. They're not all going to cook the same time, hence why these ones, this one's a little thinner, as you can kind of see, uh, compared to, obviously, this one, which is uh, far thicker. So, that's going to take about 20 minutes. If I'm going to cook this one, which I'll probably do later on at some point, uh, that'll probably be about 10 to 15 minutes. It's not going to take long to cook, so you don't want to overcook it. You don't want to leave it in there for too long. Um, so it's the great thing with fish, you want to be nice and gentle and tender with it um, and super, super careful. You don't want to break it up. And why I'm not, like I said before, why I'm not putting it on top of the fish because I don't want it to crush down or, or change the form of it. So I want to keep it separate, but it will still be in the back pack. Uh, the flavors will still get into it. So just a little touch of thyme. So lemon, thyme and garlic for our flavors. So I'm just going to peel and chop this down. Let's cut this in half. So what we're going to do. Now, some people like to kind of peel this off with their knife. With all honesty, it's super, super awkward. Second of all, you're probably going to end up cutting yourself because you're always, you're really jagged with it. So do you know what? Make your life a little bit more easier. Just use a peeler. It just comes off. You have to peel it like once or twice, maybe three times, just to get down to the, the main part. But so much easier, and you're not going to have an accident. Honestly, I hate it when I see people uh, trying to take the skin off with the knife, as well as losing wastage as well. Um, it's just far too dangerous, in my opinion. Let's get this uh, a scoop out, shall I say, without getting the seeds everywhere like I just did. So just using a spoon, pretty much, you're just pretty much scraping right down to the bottom, and then just letting them kind of pretty much fall out. We're going to use that for puree and this for cubes. Oh, the other way around, because these will be nice little cubes. We can use these for the purees. OK, so what we're going to do is just cut these down. Be very careful when holding this up. So making sure you uh, don't push too hard, otherwise you're going to fly, slip, maybe cut your finger. So you know, just take your time, making sure your knife is super sharp as well. Really important. So I'm just going to dice this up in any kind of means, just kind of equal sizes. If you don't want to go sifting through your, your foods, goodness me, if you don't want to go sifting through the foods uh, for the stalks, what you can do is just pick the thyme leaves down and you won't have to sift through it. Now, usually you can, if you want to take it a step further and you're like, oh, they're too big, I don't like the little thyme leaves in there, you can dice them up if you want, but in my personal preference, you're really not going to notice much unless they're pretty large leaves then. You can give them a little dice if you want to. Let me add a little touch of water. We're going to foil this over. Um, and then we're going to pop this in the oven. Let me chop up the rest and we can uh, give this a little dice up. So on about one tablespoon of veggie oil or canola, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, and I want a little bit of salt as well. A couple of pinches. I'm going to cut up some onions, a bit of garlic, and a little touch of thyme. I'm not going to go too crazy. So what we're going to do just cut this in half. So this is the end piece. Just give that a nice little, little cheeky dice down. So we've got the garlic, uh, thyme, onions. I'm going to start sweating that down very shortly. Put a tablespoon of oil. Fantastic. Right, so onions are going in. Nice little gentle sizzle. I'm going to start adding the couscous. I don't want to go too crazy with this and making like obviously bundles. So, how much are you going to pop in there, chef? Roughly about 50 grams, not a lot. Not a huge deal. I'm going to start adding a little touch of water into it in a second. Let me take this off the heat first because I want to get all the little flavors and spices in there first. So, just careful that doesn't burn. Right, so let's grab, I want a little touch of paprika. I want some lemon juice in there as well. So, let's go grab all our flavors. If you want a super spicy, then I could go with a, a bit of cayenne. But honestly, I don't think you're going to need it. So I'm going to go half a teaspoon of paprika in there. A little touch of lemon juice. So it's all a little squeeze in there. Mm -hmm. Not too crazy. About a quarter of a lemon juice. Just a bit of that acidity in there. I'll keep the rest of that lemon juice for something else later on. Just drop all that in there. All that water will get absorbed. Fantastic. While that's been absorbed, I'm going to add, uh, chop up my parsley. Get all of my beautiful flavors on the go. So I want it on what, 54, 55? So that's coming up to heat and then we're gonna set the timer. Right, so that's heating up. Parsley chops, let's drop this in very carefully. Beautiful, I'm not gonna go too crazy, but nice bit of parsley in there. Just gonna give that a mix up. Got the lemon juice in there, the onions, the garlic, the thyme. So we're starting to build up some nice flavors in here. I don't think we're gonna need much water. I can feel the consistency, so I might take this off very shortly. Just need my spinach in there as well. I'm gonna let that cool down just a little touch so it's nice, nicely warmed through. Um, not while it's super hot. And then I'm gonna add the feta or flake it through. A little bit of pomegranates in there. I'm gonna flake up the... Uh... Oh, I'm gonna have a little taste first before I uh, add the feta. Make sure we got the right amount of seasoning in there, not too much. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a little bit less. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes seems a little long in my opinion. I'm gonna give it 15 and I'm gonna have a little feel of it. And if it's feeling right, I'll leave it. If not, I'll give it a few minutes longer. So what was that that flew past? Or maybe it was snow falling off the roof. I don't know. Something just went past my eyes. Anyway, so we're going to drop this in. So I'm going to put a timer on. Let's top this up with a little touch of water. Don't go too crazy. So, don't need to put this on, put this on here. I hope you get the opportunity again soon, Sadira. I hope you get the opportunity. Goodness me. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, if you wanted a little touch of color. The only problem with searing it... Actually, I might sear it. Get a little bit of color on there. So, hang on. It doesn't fall apart in the pan. It's already... The side of it started to fall apart. The pizza I ate was so good though. So, anyway, it's okay. Anyway, so there's our beautiful, healthier uh, fish dish for today, our sea bass dish. So, we had butternut squash puree. We also had wholemeal, um, wholemeal couscous. We also had the pomegranates, um, the roasted butternut squash. And in the couscous itself, we had garlic, onions, a uh, little touch of paprika, lemon juice, uh, spinach, feta, um, anything else? Salt and pepper, of course. So, very delightful. And obviously, the fish cooked down on, what was it? 55 meow, Celsius meow. for about right. 20 meow. minutes. Anyway, uh, we're going to finish up for today. I'll be back tomorrow for the uh, $10 meal uh, with the 
chicken burrito. Um, but I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Much loves. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out and the support today. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing as always. So have a great rest of this Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. Mountain Time as always. Bye for now, amigos.